Episode 3 of Electric Dreams was titled The Commuter and it starred the great Timothy Spall as the lead character. It was about somebody who worked at a train station and noticed a passenger asking about a town that didn't exist. He visited the town and it turned out to be consequential compared to what it should have been. Was it a good episode? Yeah, it was okay. It wasn't better than the first episode, but it was better than the second one. The story had a great message within it, but the delivery wasn't amazing. I feel as though 45 minutes of the episode didn't really allow the story to build, however the last 15 minutes were really enjoyable to watch. This town seemed as though it would be a town that everybody would like to live in. The perfect tea, coffee, cake and service. As well as this, he dreamt the perfect world would be without his son, so this meant that this was the place. The town would fix all of your problems and lead you to believe that it has altered your reality. However, although you see him leave the town, he never actually left. He just got to experience what his life would be like if he decided to stay in the town and not leave. This was something that took him some time to realise, as in the reality that he thought he lived in, his son wasn't there. It started to cotton onto the main character when he started to see the same things happening there every time that he visited, such as the couple getting engaged and going up to him. When the waitress switched and said, warning, it can get highly addictive, it was a very strong moment. It was almost a turning point of the episode where the drama started to happen and you knew something bad was going to occur. His perfect life would consist of his son not being there, the rubbish in the streets gone and the neighbours not partying, with all of the houses looking tidy on his way home. It's the life that he dreams of, but not the life that he actually wants. Visually, the episode looked great at parts and was shot quite nicely, but at some point some of the special effects looked quite cheap and it was uncomfortable to watch. The last 15 minutes of the hour were probably the best of the episode. The climax was fairly entertaining, but wasn't as powerful as I would have thought it would have been. The travelling around the town wasn't that entertaining to watch, and when he's allowed to leave, it was just okay. Finally, when Timothy Spall's character walked back into his house, and you knew he was in reality because he saw his son, it was a nice way to round off the episode. Not the best ending, but it was okay. The episode has a great message, meaning that you should appreciate what you have in life, as the life that you dream of may not actually be better than the one that you have. So what do you think of Electric Dreams? Did you enjoy The Commuter? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. <laughs>